88 was just a style fucking epicenter. You know what I'm saying? Like flat tops. Fucking the, the jewelry, the clothing, the rap. Like that's when rap started taking taking it to a whole nother level. 88, I was awestruck by the streets. I was awestruck. That was my first girlfriend, the streets. I wanted to be like any hustler that you heard of from, from that era, that's who I wanted to be like. That was my heroes. I didn't look up to nobody like I looked up to the game. Rap actually helped the streets more than anything. I know I'm a living example of that. If it wasn't for rap, I don't know where I would be right now. If anything, rap was just reflecting what people was going through. If they say it's fucked up in the hood, we're not saying we're proud of it, we're saying it's fucked up in the hood. And my first interaction with Eight and Nine was somebody gifted me some shirts. When I got that shirt, it just something about the shirt just just caught my attention and it matched my Aqua 8 Jordans perfectly. The quality of it was good and the material of it was good. So then years later, me and Ray was talking one day and then we was talking about doing some kind of collaboration. I came up with an idea for, uh, for a hat, actually. Actually, this is the hat. I came up with the idea to do something that reflects me and reflects New York at the same time and also reflects eight and nine. So we came up with the, and I was in love with the Brain Gang idea that they had. So we had Brain Gang on the side of the hat and then you got the Montana emblem, but you also got New York. And then, uh, and then uh, Montana was under here and then eight and nine was on the inside. So it was a perfect collaboration of everything. When the hats came out, I was super um, excited. And um, ever since then, man, it's like eight and nine just been my people's. Like, there's so many people that give me clothes that I just don't even wear, you know what I'm saying? But eight and nine, I just like, eight and nine, they, they, they taste, their taste and their, uh, their ear and their eye to the street and to the detail, like they know what's hot and they know what's dope and they know what people like. And I'm not the only artist that feels that way. So I've been rocking with 8 9 for a very long time and uh, we've done a lot of things together. Independent means getting off your ass and doing what you have to do and not just waiting for somebody to make it happen for you. It's being willing to take the, the bumps and bruises that's gonna come along with it because it's not easy being independent.